Have you ever wondered how those bright stars in the night sky were born? Stay with us until the end to find out. Hello everyone, welcome to Hey Stellar Enthusiast, your channel for astronomy and the mysteries of the universe. In today's video, we will explore one of the most fascinating processes in the cosmos, the formation of stars. Stars are enormous spheres of plasma that emit light and heat due to nuclear reactions in their cores. They are the building blocks of the universe, providing the energy necessary for life and the formation of planets. For example, the Sun, the closest star to us, is essential for life on Earth. Without it, our planet would be a cold and inhospitable place. Stars also play a crucial role in creating chemical elements through stellar nucleosynthesis, which are the elements that make up everything around us, including ourselves. Stars form in dense regions of gas and dust called molecular clouds, or nebulae. These clouds are primarily composed of molecular hydrogen, but also contain helium and traces of other elements. The Orion Nebula is a classic example of a star-forming region. Within these nebulae, gravity begins to pull the gas and dust together to form denser regions. These dense regions are the stellar nurseries, where new stars begin to form. The Orion Nebula, for example, is visible to the naked eye and is one of the most studied locations by astronomers. When a region within a molecular cloud reaches a critical density, it begins to collapse under its own gravity. This process is known as gravitational collapse. During the collapse, the temperature and pressure in the core of the cloud increase significantly. This collapse can be triggered by events such as nearby supernova explosions, which send shock waves through the cloud, compressing the gas and dust. As the cloud collapses, it fragments into smaller pieces, each of which can form a new star. This process is incredibly efficient and can lead to the formation of hundreds of stars in a single molecular cloud. As the cloud collapses, it forms a hot, dense core called a protostar. During this phase, the protostar continues to accumulate material from the surrounding cloud, increasing its mass and temperature. Protostars are often surrounded by disks of gas and dust, which can eventually form planets. These protoplanetary disks are the locations where planets, moons, and other smaller bodies begin to form. The protostar phase can last millions of years, during which the star continues to grow and evolve. Eventually, the temperature and pressure in the core of the protostar become high enough to initiate nuclear fusion. When the temperature and pressure in the core of the protostar are high enough, nuclear fusion begins and a new star is born. During nuclear fusion, hydrogen nuclei combine to form helium, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the form of light and heat. This process is what makes stars shine. The Sun went through this process about 4.6 billion years ago 
and will continue to shine for a few more billion years before exhausting its hydrogen fuel. Nuclear fusion is the engine that powers stars and allows them to emit light and heat for billions of years. It is an incredibly efficient and powerful process that keeps stars stable and bright. What is your favorite star in the night sky? Leave your comment below. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more fascinating content about the universe. We will answer some frequently asked questions about star formation. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Today, we explored how stars form, from molecular clouds to stellar birth through nuclear fusion. Thank you so much for watching until the end. We hope you learned something new and interesting about the universe. Don't forget to check out our playlist on the solar system and other cosmic mysteries. See you next time, folks. Keep exploring the universe with us. Bye.